got a seven-year-old male complaining of breathing problems while playing soccer. We started oxygen in an IV. Let's get him onto the bed. The final signs were stable, but he started getting anxious and agitated as we pulled in, so I'm a little worried about him. Tony, you're gonna be all right. Mommy's right here, honey. Heart rate was about 110. Respiratory is about 30. Tony. Hey, okay, you okay, we need to move him fast. Let's Tony. move him on three. One, two, three. Yeah. What's happening? Marcus, call the code and get the pediatric heart. He's not breathing. Right. I'll give him breath. And leads attached. What's happening? He's gonna be all right, isn't he? We're doing the best we can, ma'am. Dana, would you stay with Mrs. Porter, please? Mrs. Porter, can you step over here? Mrs. Porter, we can stay here. We just need to give the team room to work, okay? Now, it looks like Tony has stopped breathing, but the nurses are helping giving him breaths, okay? I need to call my husband. That's no problem. We have a family room. Hey, what have we got, Colleen? A uh, seven-year-old with breathing difficulty and became unresponsive and just stopped breathing, just gave him two breaths, and now I'm checking his pulse. Okay, I'll take the lead. Can you help with crowd control, please? You got it. Everyone but the code team. I don't have a pulse. Looks like V-fib. Okay, Marcus, go ahead and attach the defibrillator pads, please. Sarah, start recording, please. I'll begin recording now. Attaching pads. Sign compression. I'll ventilate. One, two. Roberta, could you use the resuscitation tape to determine this boy's approximate weight and then check the IV for me, please? I'll get the tape and estimate his weight and then check the IV. The weight is 30 kilograms. I'll check the IV. Okay, everybody, the weight is 30 kilograms. Colleen, be ready to take over on the compressions after we check the rhythm. I'll be ready to take over compressions. Okay, stop compressions and let's check the rhythm. Okay, we have VF. Prepare an unsynchronized shock of two joules per kilogram. Okay, charging to 60 joules. Okay, I'm clear, you're clear. Everybody clear. Shock delivered. Resuming CPR. One, two, three. Okay, Roberta, prepare epinephrine. I want 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram. That's 0.3 milligrams IV in case we have a shockable rhythm, PEA, or a systole on the next rhythm check. Double check the dose on the tape for me, please. IV flushes where well. I'll prepare epinephrine 0.3 milligrams. Are you able to ventilate easily down there? Yes, I'm getting good chest rise. Okay, good job. We'll continue ventilating with the bag mask and we'll hold off on the intubation. It's been one minute, 30 seconds since the shock. Okay, everyone, we're gonna check the rhythm in just a few seconds. If VF is still present, we're going to give four joules per kilogram. That's a 120 joules unsynchronized shock, and then we're gonna switch compressors. Roberta, then you're gonna go ahead and give the three milligrams epinephrine IV if the VF is still present. Is there any questions? Wouldn't it be 0.3 milligrams epinephrine? Oh, thank you, that's right. It's 0.3 milligrams IV epinephrine. We're ready to switch. I'll be ready to charge another 120 joules if another shock is needed. 0.3 milligrams IV of epinephrine ready. Okay, stop CPR. It's now been two minutes. Okay, we have persistent VF. Marcus, give the 120 joule shock. joules. I'm clear, you're clear. Okay, everybody's clear, shock delivered. There's any compressions. Okay, Roberta, go ahead and administer the 0.3 milligrams epinephrine IV. Epinephrine, 0.3 milligrams given. Okay. You're doing a great job on the compression rate there, Kevin. Try and push a little bit harder on the compressions and let the chest completely relax between each one, okay? Okay. Yeah. Much better. Those are great compressions. Roberta, prepare five milligrams per kilogram of amiodarone, so that is gonna give us 150 milligrams. We'll give that if VF is still present on the next rhythm check. Preparing 150 milligrams amiodarone. It's been two minutes. Okay, let's stop CPR and we'll analyze and be prepared to switch. Okay, we've got an organized rhythm. I'm not feeling a pulse. Okay, folks, we have PEA. Continue with the compressions. R Roberta, go ahead and hold on the amiodarone and prepare me a 0.3 milligram IV dose of epinephrine for the next rhythm check. Holding amiodarone, I will prepare 0.3 milligrams IV epinephrine for next rhythm check. Okay, we've performed CPR, we've given two shocks, and we've given one dose of epinephrine. We have an unshockable rhythm, but we have no pulse. Do we have any ideas about the reversible causes? Review the H's and the T's. That's an excellent idea, Colleen. Let's talk about what we've done so far. 